So we're at Hangman's Alley today to build Sparks Bistro. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Hangman's Gaming for XP. So today we're going to try and utilize this space under the uh, generator room in the corner here. So let's get rid of those. So I'm going to use these floors. This is a little bit painful, so I'm going to speed it up for you and I'm going to give you some music to go along with it. Um, this takes a while. Enjoy. Thank goodness that's done, but it certainly was worth doing correctly because um, it forms the whole basis for the what I'm about to build here. So let's get on to the walls, I guess. And uh, one of the things I liked about this area is I wanted to put something that would support that um, walkway above. I'm just looking for the right tab here. Provisioners having a good look to see I've done the floor properly. Put these walls in. There we go. Yep. So initially, I only have one part of that area done. Um, end up extending it anyway. I've got to think about um, how big this place is going to be, how you're going to get into it. We're going to fiddle around with the floors a little bit more by the looks of it. Still not happy with those floors, but never mind. For some reason they weren't playing nice to see that finally snaps to everything. But it, it just, I don't know what, what was going on, but it just wouldn't play nicely when I was doing this. Because they should snap to that, that one there. Yep. Come on, there we go, that's better. That's what I wanted to see. Here we go. That's better. That's what we need to get rid of this for a minute. That's it. I think we're finally getting somewhere. Okay. Are we going to put the walls in this time, you ask yourself? One of the big uh, issues that I saw here was the, the actual size of the walls that need to go in here. So it does take a while. You can see how fiddly it is. It's not right up against the um, foundation there for whatever reason. I love these half walls. And I thought we um, we could, there, I had a look around, we built a bar, we got a noodle shop there, we need, we actually need somewhere for the uh, set horse to have a meal. So that's what's inspired this build, we'll build a little bit of a restaurant in here. And you will actually see that this also prompts 
me to change a few things that I've already built, so you know, if it's in there for some reason. Okay, just run up the stairs for no apparent reason. So now I'm having a bit of a look around and having a think. So what I'm thinking is I could actually put something up here above. Hmm. What could we put in here? quite work as you can see the door <laughs> trying to get in through the door there might not be a good idea so I'm trying lots of different things here eventually we'll get it to work those pieces that I've put up above our room um, allow everything to snap to it so And I wanted to keep this having the feel of what was there before. So these walls were on that little area before and I've just expanded it out a little bit. There we go. That works. So maybe we'll put proper floors on the top here. For some reasons, uh, of course, those floors, isn't it? Those other floors from the um, whereas in barn tab, we've come across this before that they won't play nice with the other floor, so we'll just use the whereas floors instead. Here we go, that works. So we're kind of figuring it, we'll get, we're figuring out that we're, get, we're getting there. It's taking a while, but we are getting there. There we go. Now the Brahmin wants some noodles by the looks of it. That last little bit in. It's becoming like a building site. There's bits and pieces lying everywhere. Just got to be persistent with this. Up she goes. Ease it up into place. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That works. Get rid of that. Maybe I've noticed that that, that's not going to work as a door. Put things around. Ah, I think I'm getting somewhere now. That won't work as a door, no? There we go. That's better. That's much better. Get it on this. We're going to put in here bench for a sec. So I'm trying to get something to fit into here and then um, I end up going to the solution that I've found works in most of the settlement here and it's these metal floors for some reason. There you go. I don't quite like that see-through look. 
it's not doing it for me. Let's find another one. <laughs> of course, that's not going to fit. There we go, the whole process again of just finding what's going to fit into this. That would be perfect if that went in. For now, that's okay. <laughs> so, what's next? If that doesn't snap into it, there, nothing will. <laughs> okay. Stop in there, okay. Why don't we just hide it with that? No do noise. <laughs> That'll do. That works. Just position that so yeah, nothing to see here people. Okay, now. Hmm. Still not happy with that floor, but anyway. Spend all your life doing the floor. Okay, let's put some um, things in. We'll worry about that a little bit later. So, given it's a restaurant, and it is actually got very restricted um, space in here, we've got to be a little bit inventive. Yeah, you thought you could build without fixing that floor up, didn't you? Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, so what's going to fit in here? Maybe a little one. Go down. Go down. Yeah, there. Oh, come on, I saw you. There we go. Cool. It's always about getting that first piece in. Let's try that looking down trick, or looking round the corner trick. There you go, that worked. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but it worked. Mm -hmm. Oh, so a flash of inspiration there. So as you can see, it's all about the floor today. So, we got to figure out the layout in here now. It's the key thing, I think. Uh, metal floors maybe just to hide the imperfections what do you reckon yes, that might work actually well, it wants to go that way so why don't we let it there we go look at that so these pieces these metal sheets are good look at that they just click in Like that. It's going to go like that. So I wonder if that other piece, we can get another piece to click to it. You're going to have to remove that bit on the left. Or not. There we go. Nice. Look how that fills in that gap just nicely. Just sometimes you need a little bit of luck in building. Too high for some reason. Drop down. The old spinning trick, eh? There you go, that seemed to have worked though. There we go. That actually works, and by the time we get everything in, you're not going to notice that anyway, so it's going to be good. I'll put that there, put that there. Excellent, there we go. So again, unexpected pieces that are actually helping me build, but oh, that sort of works. Okay. So let's get sorted out what we want to have in here. We're actually going to need a kitchen of some kind. So let's make a divider. 
And it's back to the good old snap and behold. You have seen me use these doors extensively, but they just fit anywhere. So good. Ah, what are we going to use in here? Nah, it's not going to work. That bit, maybe? Sort of wants to sit in there, doesn't it? I do come up with another solution here, but for now. Uh, that will do. Just as a placeholder for now. Okay, making progress. That defines that space quite nicely for the kitchen. It will fit in there, but it won't fit in there. Go figure. We will make it fit, why not? <laughs> So now let's get the seating area in. And these seats are actually very good. They're fantastic because they actually snap together. It's like that. The only thing I don't like about them is you can't actually put anything on the tables. So get out of the way, pillar. Come on. Thank you. See if we can snap another one in there. Come on, go on. I think it's just sitting a bit too far across for some reason. There we go, snap. So that's looking okay, I like that. So far so good. What's it doing up there? We want it downstairs. We'll put it in, back in exactly the same place as we just took it from, but never mind. So let's take out the kitchen. A couple of fridges, I guess. And with these little spaces, it, it, you can have to play around with them a little while until we get it right, until we get the balance right. Every space is going to be a little bit different. And we'll do two or three ovens, cooktops, that's it. Okay. What else do we need? Canters, I guess. You can see there's a little bit of a ducting just to the right, the right hand corner. So we're going to have to get around that somehow. I want to make this as compact as possible too, so. That fits perfectly in there. like that. It's nice and compact. Is this the spot? Yeah, I think this is the point where I get a little bit of an idea about that area there and what I could have potentially do there. So I've got to find the right piece though to fit in there. And we 
could put like a server arch in there. Yeah, that's better. It's in keeping with the walls. I like that. I like the fact that you can actually see into the kitchen and see what's going on. A lot of modern kitchens do that now, so... That probably needs to go in a little bit further. Yeah, that's better. Oh, a little serving window. That actually works very well. Very happy with that. So that's the majority of um, the builds done now. I think it's really just about decoration. Not much to go. Maybe just put a, something for the food to, to sit in just in this uh, corner here. Some shelves, of course. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. I like it. Very tight compact area, all kind of sort of works, liking it a lot. Cookbooks up there, some provisions on the shelves. And I'm probably not going to put a door in there, just because of the, the restrictions on space. So I'm looking at that space up above and what I can do and I'm also thinking about what I can do inside. But there you go. That's what we end up with. Sparks Bistro. I'll give you a quick tour. Lighting's key here. For some reason I can't get out the door, but never mind. So the upstairs here, I actually changed the stairs on there. And I've got an upstairs dining area, drinking area, which is quite nice. And um, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.